Hi, my name is Kirk Howarth. Today we're going to be cooking kimchi black fried rice using cracked, the no egg egg. So we're going to add some organic black rice to the water. And we're just going to mix that in. And we're just going to bring that up to a simmer and then we're going to pop a lid on top. And now we're going to prepare the garnish. And it's really important when cooking fried rice especially, have all your garnish ready and then when the rice is cooked, you're just ready to go. So, first off, we're going to finely chop some spring onions. So we've got some finely chopped spring onion there. I'm going to grate a little bit of garlic, one clove of garlic. Just scrape that like so. And then we've got some Swiss chard. What I'm going to do is just roll it up like so. And then I'm just going to finely chiffonade it. For me, what's amazing about Asian cookery is everything is so precise, so this is the time to hone in on your knife skills and really chop your vegetables nice and fine. And again, we're going to use the whole of the chard. We're going to use the stems and everything. Stems have a lot of texture. It'll bring out a little bit of extra texture in the rice. So we're going to start to cook the egg fried rice. So we're going to add two tablespoons of sunflower oil. And now we're going to add the cracked no egg egg. You want a nice hot heat on the pan for this. So we just want to scramble the cracked no egg egg. Now we add the garlic. That's one clove of garlic added in. See how it's coming together now. So again, I think the key to anything in cookery is to be patient and don't rush the process. So I'm going to add the rice. So that's the cooked black rice. I'm going to mix that in. And now we've got some fresh peas. And then just turn down the heat just a notch now. So we're going to add a little pinch of salt. We're going to add the spinach. We just want to wilt that spinach in there gently. And we're going to add half of the Swiss chard. Okay, and now we're going to add one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soya sauce. And it's really important to add the soya sauce and the sesame at this point in the process. You get that really fresh soy and sesame sort of flavour. So we're just going to taste it. That's pretty perfect, the seasoning is absolutely perfect on that. It's really important when you're adding soya sauce that that is quite salty, so never add too much salt at the start. Always add a tiny bit and then you can always add more salt, but you can never take it out. So be very careful with that when you're using soya sauce especially, not to add too much salt on top of that. Okay, so as the spinach is just wilting now, gently in that, you want to keep it nice and vibrant and green. Right at the end, we want to add the spring onions. And then we're going to add our kimchi. And so now it's really important to turn down the heat once you've added the spring onions and the kimchi. And we're just folding those through. We want to get that real crunch and freshness into the rice. So a little pinch of salt and about a tablespoon of black sesame seeds. Okay, so when the rice is done, we're just going to quickly cook off some chard. I've got a little bit of water, some olive oil and a little bit of salt. Very, very simple. So, fresh chard in. And with vegetables, super important that we don't, we don't need to submerge the vegetables in lots of water because that dilutes the flavour. So we've just got a little bit of water and then we're just going to turn up the heat. All we're going to do is cook this for 30 seconds on them fresh with a little bit of crunch. Okay, wilting that down. And then last minute, the other chard just goes in. 
So now we're going to plate the dish. Okay, so the rice has gone in, and we're just going to add our leaves of chard. And then a little bit of our chiffonade. I'm being super natural with the plate in here. So there we have it, a delicious kimchi black fried rice made with cracked the no egg egg.